Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So today is flop cup number three in this series of five that I'm doing. The variation that I'm doing today is I have added a, a drop of silicone to each of my colors. So I want to see what kind of effects we get. And I sort of have an idea of what's going to happen, but um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see. So there's no silicone in the white, but there's silicone in all six of the other colors. Um, so let's go through those. So these are my purple table, table, table scrapings uh, from flop cup number one. Flop cup number one? Yes, flop cup number one. So that's those. This is Montmart uh, Aqua Green, almost identical, if, if not identical, to the Artist Loft Aqua Green. Uh, I have Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue, Shuttle Art uh, Cobalt Green Flash, Shuttle Art Red Flash. Some Deco Art Americana Bright Metallics in Pewter. This one is only mixed with water. So it, it likes to come to the surface. The Deco Art, fine when I mix those with water. And then of course my white. I'll show you the results of the last one. Major Galaxy Vibes with this one. Major Galaxy Vibes, I love this. And then I took my silver. So what ended up happening was I used the um, chrome spray paint and put it in my cup. And I got all of these little, little chunks of spray paint underneath the paint, which actually adds to the Galaxy effect. What I did was I then took my silver um, acrylic paint pen or marker and just kind of touched some of the different spots, added in some lines for embellishment, um, connected some of the chunks, or the external chunks anyway, of the um, spray paint. And it looks really cool. It looks really, really cool. And yes, it's very, there's, you can definitely feel the chunks underneath, but I think it kind of adds to it. So, so that's that one. Okay, so today is, silicone in our colors so thanks everyone for coming i truly appreciate each and every one of you um i'm gonna link my hundredth video up above it was exciting to do that as a premiere so thank you so much to everyone for supporting me uh and let's get painting I forgot to mention that the pewter, I'm actually going to drizzle on top of the white um, little puddle that I stretch out and then I'm gonna pour my cup on top. Just to be, I don't want it in the cup because it comes to the surface, that deco art. Um, I don't want it to take over too much, so I wanna control how much is actually going to be in the piece. So that's why I'm not putting it in the cup.
so I torched it there and the silicone reacted. Um, I wasn't quite expecting that, but that's what happened. So I did a little bit more up there just so that it was kind of even, but we're gonna cover it anyway, or some of it. Um, I'm hoping that we get some of this in between. We did with the pink and purple one that I did. It was really cool. So that was without the silicone though. <clears throat> All right, so here's the cup. So hopefully, I'm gonna scrape the table today too. It's all nice and clean, so. Better have one more little drink of coffee here. <laughs> Try not to spill my paint cup. Okay, so here we go. Wow. Okay, I'm not gonna torch until I'm done stretching. I do wanna pop these bubbles though. Can't pop them all, but there are a couple of big ones here. Yeah, we'll just, let's just do this. Wow, look at all that. <laughs> I knew that the silicone would definitely make some cells. I haven't used silicone in a very long time. Um, I have been thinking about it again lately, just seeing some artists using it. And I, I love my color shift colors because when they mix with other colors, they create their own color that just like lights right up. Um, I love this metallic cobalt blue with some of the aqua green and then the red flash is kind of a corally color. However, the last time I used the red flash and it dried, it went to this light blue color, believe it or not. It was almost like a red blue color shift. So it'll be very interesting to see what some of these, well, to see all of the red, the corally color, how it dries. But yeah, wow, this is, and the shimmer is really cool. Really, really amazing. I love the lines. I love that it has, for composition, it has this in the center, and then it's kind of like each corner is its own little piece. I love the aqua green up here. I was a little bit worried about the um, cobalt green shuttle art. Uh, I can't think. The color shift, the flash. So we'll see what happens. 
with that once it dries. But right now, the wet results are pretty amazing. Yeah, they're gorgeous. This, uh, the, oh my god, my brain is not working this morning. The, um, aqua green over top of the light purple is really cool. It's like luminous. It's like, it almost looks like it's glowing. <laughs> I really hope this piece dries well. So, how about I bring you in for a close up? All right, we're gonna see if I can get down here. I'm on my footstool, of course. There we go. Lots going on. Oh, look at that shuttle art sparkle. And the metallic cobalt blue. Let's go back over here for a sec. The color combinations are pretty awesome. love that spot right there and I love that spot right there and I love that spot and that spot and that spot <laughs> so I just wanted to thank everyone for coming to my channel hanging out with me today I appreciate each and every one of you whether you're new or whether you've been here or watching I am so grateful for you guys. So if you haven't subscribed, I sure would love if you would. Give me a thumbs up, let me know what you like, what you don't like down in the comments. I'm really glad I did the silicone in these. It just gives it a whole different effect. So this is flop cup number three. Two more to go. I have some great colors picked out for my next one. I won't be doing silicone, but that's okay. Oh yeah, I love that spot right there too. So take care everybody. Have a great day, have a great week. And I'll show you the dried results in the next video. So make sure you check it out.